In this video, I'll show different ways to connect electrical components to circuits. I will also show the cable calculation from the circuit list and how to generate reports. But first, if we get closer to the distribution board, this DB01, this conduit and ladder is not connected to the board. In order to connect them, I will make use of, of a function called cable path. Okay? I will click OK to start this cable path from the board and then I will connect it to, uh, to the start of this conduit. Now press enter so I can start another cable path and then again start from the board and then I will connect to this ladder. Okay? Now these components are connected to, to, to the board so we have the, the complete path to, to get to, to the electrical components. Next, next step, I will activate a tab called distribution board circuit list. This way we can look at the circuit list at the circuit list while we are modeling. Okay? First I will draw a lighting circuit. So I will select this circuit number eight, right mouse click, and I will select the option draw circuit. I will select this, uh, this cable type just click OK and if we go to the showroom we see here six light features if we see the the worst path is this one so I will only connect from the ladder to this last uh, lamp or light feature in order to have the the worst path for the length of the cable and then for the voltage drop that we directly see in a circuit list okay what I can do for the others, if I would like to connect the, all of them to, to the same circuit, I could make use of, uh, first I will select all of them. And by using the hotkey Alt Enter, I can come to the tab Connected and I can manually assign these components to the circuit number eight. So in the reference, drop down list I will select the, the board DB01 and then in the circuit we see here with a dash in front of the number 8 uh, meaning this is the only uh, circuit that has been drawn in a model okay all the others have has have a asterisk in front of it meaning they are not drawing a model okay so all of these light features are now assigned to, to the same circuit and we see here a representation um, of uh, in yellow, meaning this uh, circuit is correctly connected from the board to the to the light feature. Now let's sh let me show you another way to connect the 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 circuit or sign a circuit for for electrical components. I will come to this circuit number nine and instead of draw the cable, since I already have a, a, a conduit and cable draw in these rooms, I can use a function called copy circuit properties. So I can just uh, le uh, left click in the, in the cable and these components are directly connected to, to the circuit. So I'll press escape to, just to, to move this part text close to to the to the switch okay so these two components are correctly assigned to to the circuit number nine at last if we see here th there are two sockets and I will draw a circuit for socket I will draw it from the circuit number three I will sign a conduit and then I will manually uh, size the change the size of the cable to 2.5 square millimeters. I will draw directly from the board and then I will connect to this junction box here and then from this junction box to the other one and these two sockets are assigned to the circuit number three. Okay. Now if we open the distribution board just to, to have a, a better view of the circuit list we see here that for these three, uh, three circuits that we have correctly assigned the components, we see in the column length, the, the length of the cable or the worst path uh, when we have more than one root. 
and then we see on the on the uh, on the right the voltage drop okay we also have the column cable calculation on the left we see the calculated um, cable uh, cro uh, cross section of the cable and on the right the selected cable I will double click this entry for the circuit number three so we can see more details um, so we see here the, the cross section for the cable it is selected at 2.5 square millimeters but the cal it, it has been calculated for 1.5 square millimeters here we have the parameters saying that uh, 1.5 square millimeters square millimeters would be okay for it okay if you would like to change the cable type installation we come to the, the tab cable installation input and you have several uh, options here to change the installation type such as could be also in the ground or on cable tray okay after you calculate the cable and also you if you want to generate reports we come to the button reports in the distribution board you select the distribution board you would like to generate the reports and click OK and the reports uh, window opens we have three um, main types of, of uh, reports the first cable calculation would will show the, the information about each circuit cable for each circuit okay so just to, to have a, a, an overview if we just select the, the cable calculation as list we see here the information for all the, the cables that we have assigned for all the circuits even the circuits that we didn't calculate so far if we cal uh, select the cable calculation then we have information for each cable from each circuit um, at last just to show the circuit list extended let me activate the circuit list extended option on the bottom and then go to the next page and we have uh, an overview of information from from circuit pr uh, protection device cable voltage drop load and also the the the, the load in the phases so the balance of the load in the phases okay all these reports can be exported to PDF and other formats such as to, to be opened in Excel, Word and also text files.